Hello, today we're going to continue reading in 2 Samuel, starting with chapter 6, which is really interesting to me because we've already read, you know, beyond 6. I didn't realize that 2 Samuel wasn't in chronological order, but according to this, because we've already read 13, chapter 13 and 14, and now we're going back to 6. So, interesting, something I never knew, really. Um, so, 2 Samuel chapter 6. David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000, and David arose and went with all the people who were with him from Baal Judah to bring up from there the ark of God, which is called by the name of the Lord of hosts, who sits enthroned on the cherubim. And they carried the ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill. And Uzzah and Ahio, the sons of Abinadab, were driving the new cart with the ark of God. And Ahio went before the ark. And David and all the house of Israel were celebrating before the Lord with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals. And when they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, Uzzah put out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God struck him down there because of his error, and he died there because the ark of God. And David was angry because the Lord had broken out against Uzzah, and that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of the Lord that day, and he said, how can the ark of the Lord come to me? So David was not willing to take the ark of the Lord into the city of David, but David took it aside to the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite. And the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. And it was told King David, The Lord has blessed the household of Obed-Edom and all that belongs to him because the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with rejoicing. And when those who bore the ark of the Lord had gone six steps, he sacrificed an ox and a fattened animal. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was wearing a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the horn. As the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michael, the daughter of Saul, looked out the window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. And they brought in the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts and distributed among all the people, the whole multitude of Israel, both men and women, a cake of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins to each one. Then all the people departed, each to his house. And David returned to bless his household. But Michael, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How the king of Israel honored himself today, uncovering himself today before the eyes of his servants, female servants, as one of the vulgar fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. And David said to Michael, It was before the Lord, who chose me above your father and above all his house, to appoint me as prince over Israel, the people of the Lord, and I will celebrate before the Lord. I will make myself yet more contemptible than this, and I will be abased in your eyes. But by the female servants of whom you have spoken, by them I shall be held in honor. And Michael, the daughter of Saul, had no child to the day of her death. Wow. First Chronicles 13. David consulted with the commanders of thousands and the hundreds every, with every leader. And David said to all the assembly of Israel, If it seems good to you and from the Lord your God, let us send, I'm sorry, the Lord our God, let us send abroad to our brothers who remain in all the lands of Israel, as well as to the priests and Levites in the cities that have pasture lands, that they may be gathered to us. Then let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we did not seek it in the days of Saul. All the assembly agreed to do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David assembled all of Israel from the Nile of Egypt to Lebo Hamath to bring the ark of God from Kiriath-Jerim 
And David and all Israel went up to Bela, that is, Kiriah of Jerem, that belongs to Judah, to bring up from there the ark of God, which is called by the name of the Lord, who sits enthroned above the cherubim. And they carried the ark of God on a new cart from the house of Abinadab, and Uzzah and Ahio were driving the cart. And David and all of Israel were celebrating before God with all their might, with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and cymbals and trumpets. And when they came to the threshing floor of Chidon Uzzah, um, it's, <laughs> let me start that again. And when they came to the threshing floor of Chidon, Uzzah put out his hand to take hold of the ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he struck him down because he put out his hand to the ark, and he died there before God. David was angry before the Lord because the Lord had broken out against Uzzah, and that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. Um, okay, so the rest we've already read. First Chronicles chapter 15. David built houses for himself in the city of David, and pre he prepared a place for the ark of God and pitched a tent for it. Then David said that no one but the Levites may carry the ark of God, for the Lord had chosen them to carry the ark of the Lord and to minister to him forever. And David assembled all of Israel at Jerusalem to bring up the ark at the Lord to its place, which he had prepared for it. And David gathered together the sons of Aaron and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and 100 of his brothers, of the sons of Merari, Asiah the chief, and with 220 of his brothers, of the sons of Gershom, Joel the chief, with 130 of his brothers, and the sons of Elizaphan, Shemaiah the chief, with 200 of his brothers, the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, with 80 of his brothers, and the sons of Uzael, Aminadab the chief, with 112 of his brothers. Then David summoned the priests, Zadok and Abiathar, and the Levites, Uriel, Asiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Abinadab, Abinadab, and said to them, You are the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites. Consecrate yourselves, you and your brothers, so that you may bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place that I have prepared for it. Because you did not carry it the first time, the Lord our God broke out against us. Um, because we did not seek him according to the rule. So the priests and the Levites consecrated themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel. And the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with the poles, as Moses had commanded, according to the word of the Lord. That's something, my personal comments, but that's something that First Chronicles talks about that First, that Second Samuel never mentioned, is that David got upset um, about Isaiah dying, and he went back and read um, the words of Moses, read how the Ark of the Covenant is supposed to be move, moved. Um, and so he realized, oh, it needs to be done this way. <laughs> and so the next time he went back to get the Ark of the Covenant, he did it the right way. He did it according to the command of the Lord. He just didn't know that before. So um, so it, hel it, it helps a lot to know that. He looked it up, he read about it, figured out what the command of the Lord was, and then did it the right way. And then the people were blessed. Verse 16, David also commanded the chiefs of the Levites to appoint their brothers as the singers who should play loudly on musical instruments, on harps and lyres and cymbals to raise sounds of joy. So the Levites appointed Heman, the son of Joel, and all his brothers, Asaph, the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari, their brothers, Ethan, the son of Cushiah. And with them, their brothers of the second order, Zechariah, Jeziel, Shemariamoth, Jehiel, Unai, Eliab, Benaiah, Messiah, Methiah, Elephelehu, <laughs> and Mekneiah, and the gatekeepers, Obed-Edom, and Jael. The singers, Heman, Asaph, Ethan, were to sound bronze cymbals. Zechariah, Aziel, Shemariamoth, Shehael, Unai, Eliab, Masiah, and Benaiah were to play harps according to Alamoth. But Mathithiah, Eliphalu, and Mikneiah, Obed-Edom, Jael, and Azaziah were to lead with lyres according to the Shemonith. Shenaniah, leader of the Levites in music, 
should direct the music, for he understood it. That's pretty cool. Berechiah and Elkanah were to be gatekeepers for the ark. Shebaniah, Jashaphat, Nethanel, Amasai, Zechariah, Benaiah, and Eleazar the priest should blow the trumpets before the ark of God. Obed-Edom and Jehiah were to be gatekeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the commanders of thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord from the house of Obed-Edom with rejoicing. And because God helped the Levites who were carrying the ark of the covenant of the Lord, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven rams. David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, as also were all the Levites who were carrying the ark and the singers, and Chaniah, the leader of the music of the singers. And David wore a linen ephod. So all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord with shouting to the sound of the horn, trumpets, and cymbals, and made loud music on harps and lyres. And as the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, Michael, the daughter of Saul, looked out the window and saw King David dancing and celebrating, and she despised him in her heart. Chapter 16. And they brought in the ark of God and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished offering the burnt offering and the peace offering, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord and distributed to all of Israel, both men and women, to each a loaf of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. First Chronicles 6. These are the men whom David put in charge of the service of songs in the house of the Lord after the ark rested there. They ministered with song before the tabernacle of the tent of meeting until Solomon built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem and they performed their service according to their order. Wow, wow, wow. Did you just hear that? <laughs> they ministered with song, so they worshiped. <laughs> before the tabernacle of the tent of meeting until Solomon built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. Wow. And they performed their service according to their order. These are the men who served and their sons and their sons of the sons of the Kohathites, Heman, the singer, the son of Joel, son of Sam, Samuel, the son of Elkanah, son of Jeroham, the son of Eliel, son of Toa, son of Zoph, son of Elkanah, son of Mahath, son of Amasai, son of Elkanah, son of Joel, son of Azariah, son of Zephaniah, son of Tehath, son of Aser, son of Abiasaph, son of Korah, son of Izar, son of Kohath, son of Levi, son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, who stood on his right hand, namely Asaph, the son of Berechiah, son of Shemaiah, son of Michael, son of Besiah, son of Machajah, son of Ethni, son of Zerah, son of Adiah, son of Ethan, son of Zima, son of Shimei, son of Jehath, son of Gershom, son of Levi. On the left hand were their brothers, the sons of Merari, Ethan, the sons of Kishi, son of Abdi, son of Malak, son of Heb. Hashabiah, son of Amaziah, son of Hilkiah, son of Amzi, son of Bani, son of Shemer, son of Mahli, son of Mushi, son of Merari, son of Levi, and their brothers, the Levites, were appointed for all the service of the tabernacle of the house of God. But Aaron and his sons were ma made offerings of the altar of burnt offering on the altar of incense for all the work of the ho most holy place, and to make atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. These are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zerahiah his son, Meriah his son, Emariah his son, Ahitab his son, Zadok his son, Ahamaz his son. And that's all we're reading for today. <laughs> so yay. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to reading with you again tomorrow. I love you.